This is our follow-up to the burger tour video. Number one! We're actually going to rate them and we'll tell you which one was our favorite and which one... We didn't like so much. ...was not our favorite. <laughs> With number one. Wilma Jean. Wilma Jean. The burger was a little expensive. It was $18.50. Just the burger. It was the double burger with pimento cheese and we added bacon because who doesn't oh, want to add bacon? Yeah. But this burger was covered in the pimento cheese stuff. It just looked so good. This one was my favorite. My favorite too. Second place we went to, Whitman's. This place we had the Juicy Lucy. This burger also had pimento cheese on it. Inside, it was like gushers. It was so delicious. This one was $15, so it was a little bit cheaper. It didn't come with any, it came with pickles. I don't think it was quite as good as Wilma Jean. One to five, what do you rate it? If I could do halves, it would probably be a 3.5. Number three was the Brindle Room. $16 burger. For a good burger in the city, you're gonna pay between $15 to $20, so that's what you should expect. The Steakhouse Burger. Steakhouse. And if this burger was featured on a show, food show, I don't know which one, but Isabel knew about it. We had five people in our group. We split it, the bur two burgers among five of us. For that reason, I didn't really remember it, so this one's gonna be hard for me to judge. I liked how it was cooked out on the outside. It was a little crispy and it was salty. And I like salty. She doesn't even remember going to this place. <laughs> Sorry. Boiler maker. They had a special sauce on it from this Filipino restaurant that we really love called Jeep. It was kind of a fusion burger. I know one thing that was um, a little deceiving was the picture. The picture in the Thrillist ad was a lot bigger than what it was in real life. Oh, I didn't think about that. It was kind of a small burger. It had like kind of a banh mi taste, you know, some tart tanginess to it. I don't so. like banh mi sandwiches, so I already knew that I wasn't gonna like it. <laughs> so the happiest hour was next. This was a $13 cheeseburger. This was a little bit different scene, so out front was kind of a bar scene, and in the back was more of a restaurant area. This is probably my least favorite type of, like, the, the atmosphere was my least favorite. Yeah. The classic double burger. Cheese, lettuce, tomato, all that good stuff. Yeah, I agree. It was pretty basic, but it was still it was still good. The corner bistro. This burger, nine seventy five. Ah, uh, it was too big. I couldn't get the whole thing. <laughs> couldn't get the whole thing in my mouth. I thought it was delicious. I think this is a consistent place you can always go there and get the same burger. And this is too big. I I don't like when they're too big. You can't get like all of the flavor at once. Next, the spotted pig. So this place had a lot of buildup. So the wait was 45 minutes. Burgers and the fries and look delicious. The burger was 28 dollars. Comes with fries, but this was this was an expensive burger. Mark. Did not warn me about the cheese. Like I said in the video, if you don't like blue cheese, you will not like it. It was so strong, so salty. It was all over the bun, so I just take off the bun and just eat the patty. It was not for me at all. For $28 and the weight, I don't know about that. Boom. <laughs> okay, so the last place we went to that day, Shake Shack, which is probably better than In-N-Out. No way. Our battery died, so we had to switch back to the Canon. Okay, so the last one we were talking about, Shake Shack, and we were, Amanda was just saying how it's better than In-N-Out, I think. Six dollars, that's a good deal for the single Shack burger. It's a good burger, it's better than McDonald's. Yeah. It's pretty cheap, it didn't take too long. You know, as long as you're not going to one of the big tourist ones. Yeah, some of the city. lines, I don't know how people come here and wait in like hour long lines for this burger. I give it a good rating because it tastes good and it's cheap, but it's not better than In-N-Out. Just saying. Let us know what you think, In-N-Out or Shake Shack. I think this really depends if you're West Coast or East Coast. <laughs> that's the only, that's the deciding factor. I, uh, <laughs> Can you guys see that? Favorite burger, Wilma Jean. Least favorite burger, Spotted Pig. 
boiler maker. The best value burger is gonna be the Corner Bistro. Shake Shack. Shake Shack, that was the cheapest one. And the most expensive place that we went to was a Spotted Pig. That was like the almost $30 burger. Not worth it. We tried going to that Emily place again. We've been there twice now. The second time we went, it was like an hour and a half, an hour 45 minute wait. Yeah. And they probably didn't even have any burgers left. They only make 25 burgers a day, so you gotta get there early. If you wanna make reservations, you need to have at least a group of six to eight. You need to get a group of people together. So let <laughs> us know in the comments that? below <laughs> if you live in the city and you wanna come with us and go get the Emmy burger at Emily. Let us know in the comments below what's your favorite burger place in your area. Cause who knows, maybe we'll visit and then we'll be able to go to this place and get ourselves a, you know, a kick-ass burger. Thank you so much for watching. We love reading your comments. Give us a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you check back for more videos and keep up with our travels because it's T minus 52 days yes. until we take off. And then we'll be eating burgers and pizza internationally. Don't forget. I forgot. <laughs> it's short. Live it. Number one. Pimento cheese, I don't even know what it is. But. <laughs> so much cholesterol. Thank you.